Hello, my name is Lasse Klingbeil and I want to tell you about a paper that we published this summer uh, together with a data set uh, which is about um, a spatio-temporal data set of mice and tomato plants which can be used for phenotyping and plant analysis. The phenotype is a functional and are the functional and morphological properties of a plant which can be used to characterize the health status and the general performance of the plant and it is usually influenced by the genotype, the environment, and in the, especially in the agricultural context by the management. Um, when we know uh, numbers about the phenotype, when we have qualitative information about that, then we can use this for breeding to decide for certain genotypes, and we can use it for management, for example, to decide when is the right point to do fertilization or things like that. In our work, we focus on 3D, data, so we focus on geometrical traits like the height or the leaf area or the stem volume, for example, and we focus on the um, observation over time. So we want to get growth rates and, and growth curves and things like that. How do we get from these measurements uh, to a final information? So in this process we first need to capture the data with some devices, like in this example here was a robot which drives through the fields and scans the plants with a laser scanner, or here it's a lab uh, set up. And in the next step usually there is some sort of segmentation or classification where we want to find out where the leaves, where the stem, where the plants and so on. In a further step we need to do some um, processing like reconstruction of surfaces, calculate the areas, the angles and things like that. And in the last step we then can extract the parameters. All of these steps, um, in all of these steps, there's research needed um, how this could be done. It's not very clear how all of these things work, especially with high resolution point clouds. And, and this is the reason why we decided to publish a data set where people can, can uh, do research with, because taking the data is usually a lot of work. So we created a data set with lots of plants and lots of point clouds. We, um, we segmented the data so that people can train and evaluate their classifiers and they can test reconstruction and so on. So how do we do that? We, um, we created uh, the data using a very pre high precision laser scanner. It's a triangulation based laser scanner with an accuracy of about 10 micrometers with, which has about 100 points per square millimeter, so very dense and very precise. And we um, measured uh, seven tomato plants and seven mice plants and we observed them over, multi over multiple days, like 20 days for the tomatoes and uh, tw 12 days for the mice. Then we also labeled the data. We segmented them into stems and leaves so that we can follow each of the leaves, how it grows and how it develops. We did that for the mice and for the tomato and um, so we, we, we can instance every leaf and see how it, how it develops. What we also did in this work is we applied the data set to some known use cases that we used to demonstrate the usability of the data. Well, use case one was to uh, test and evaluate a segmentation method which uses point clouds uh, and some sort of machine learning algorithm to, um, to segment uh, the point clouds into the different leaves and instance e each of those leaves. Um, in a second use case, we applied it to spatial temporal registration, where we try to um, extract the skeleton of the plant and then track the structure of the plants over time by using this kind of feature points that we have here in the middle. And this can be used to, to, uh, to interpolate between the time steps or to just follow the different organs and the different uh, plant parts. In the third um, step, which is then based on the, on the, on the second uh, case, we then extract the different properties of the plant parts like the leaf length or the leaf area or the stem length and, can, and plotted it over time so that you can see how these parameters evolve over time. In summary, we can say we provided a very high precision, high resolution point cloud data set from multiple points over mul uh, multiple plants over multiple days and we provided it in a consistent coordinate frame. We also provided segmentation of leaf and stems, so of points into leaf and stems, and um, we showed some use cases. The links 
um, to the paper are here and the link to the data is here and both can be also found in the description of the video.